What is up y'all? How are you guys doing today? So right now I'm actually at a pond that I used to fish when I was like a little kid. We're talking about like 20 years ago when I was like a tiny, tiny little fisherman. I was out here throwing little worms, trying to catch bluegill, bass, whatever, you know. It's definitely interesting to say the least. I feel like there's so many memories associated with this pond. Today I am here and I'm looking to do some damage, man. I'm gonna see what this pond really has to offer nowadays. I mean, I don't really remember what it used to have when I was a little kid. I mean, all I really remember were like little sunfish. Yeah, man, I mean, this looks like such a juicy spot. I'm gonna throw some top water. It looks like perfect frogging conditions. We're gonna see if there's any giants hiding in here. This is actually gonna be pretty fun because we're using a mystery tackle box today. And let me show you guys this freaking lure that I got in here. Look at this thing, man. It's a little top water duck. I've never used anything like this. I mean, look at this place, man. All these pads. If I can catch a fish on this top water duck lure, man, I'm gonna freak out. That's the cool thing about mystery tackle box. I mean, if you guys don't know what they are, basically they are a subscription service. They send you a box every month packed with lures geared to the specific species you picked. So you can pick panfish, you can pick saltwater, you can pick bass like I did here. And yeah, man, as you can see, here's a little duck lure right there. I mean, we have this little frog right here. Just like, look, oh, stuff you never know what you're gonna get and i mean you might find your favorite lore you didn't even know about if you guys want to try out mr tag box for yourself you can use this little promo code on the screen right here i'll also put in the description below basically guys this code i mean it pretty much makes the first box almost free so i mean when you think about it i mean why not just give it a try you know i'm not just like saying this stuff man i'd actually recommend it i mean look at this freaking lore we're using man i would have never picked up anything like this but we're gonna have some fun with this today this is like so freaking cool to me all right let's stop talking man actually before we start let me show you guys this is a brand new rod i just picked this up unfortunately my other bait caster snapped like the tip up there snaps so this is a little brand new rod right here yeah man i'm hoping to be using this setup a lot man this is i don't know man how do you guys feel about this first white rod i've ever owned i don't know i mean i kind of like it i don't know let me know in the comments below Whew, all right, y'all. All right, fresh new rod, fresh new duck lure. Definitely seeing a lot of action on the top water. Actually, let me uh put this guy in and see just like what this duck looks like in there. Oh my god, it looks like it walks too. All right, dude, this is gonna be fun. First cast on the new rod. There she blows. I'm just gonna kind of kind of bring this guy around the top of the lily pads like this. I see some definite action. Oh my god, dude freaking blow up on the first cast oh my god on the freaking duck lord dude oh all right all right oh my gosh this type of fishing man is there's, there's just nothing like it i mean you guys know what i mean right it's just like zero to 100 oh my gosh something just went for it again holy crap just... there we go fish on guys oh my gosh he's stuck in the weeds right there dude oh my god Oh, no, God, it came off. Oh, my goodness. Now, guys, I did kind of calculate this. I mean, I came here kind of evening-ish. It's August right now. It's like the perfect time for top water, but I did not think. I mean, this is just a little ridiculous here. Oh, oh my God. I think the tough part about fishing like this is just patience. You know, when you see that strike, just freaking like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like such a rush, you know? All right, well, seems like things kind of cooled down a little bit. I mean, I was getting a bunch of blow ups. I don't know if I scare all the fish in here or what, but I do know these freaking mosquitoes, man. Jeez. Oh, oh my God. He's on. Oh, that's so far out though. All these pads. Okay, I got him. Oh no. What is going on, dude? That was a freaking, that, that was probably the best blow up yet. Dang it, dude. <sighs> I mean, I tried, man. I tried to keep him pinned under those pads. He was so far away, though. Well, guys, welcome to uh, Frog Fishing Fails. Not seriously, guys. I don't know, man. I think I might have underestimated just how thick these pads actually are. Like, two of them, I'll admit, I just, like, completely missed them. Most of the time here, it's just, like, they take it under, and these pads, man, they're so freaking thick. <sighs> I just want to catch a fish on this freaking duck, dude. Oh, yeah, right in the tree. That's the cast. If I just get one in again, man, I'm just gonna crank and crank. This braid should be strong enough to handle that. There's a fish. This one's not getting off. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Let's freaky go, dude. On oh, the freaking hole. Oh. Guys, we caught a fish on the duck lord. Oh my freaking gosh, dude. Uh, can you guys see that, man? I've never caught a fish on anything so like, it just looks weird. Oh. But yeah, man, there we freaky go, dude. <laughs> oh, swallowed a bug. But there we go, guys. Not the biggest fish in the world, but I mean, the way you hit it, man, you wouldn't have even known. Thank you so much, buddy, for making my whole freaking, you made my whole week right there. So there you guys go, man. You can see he destroyed that little duck lord right there. He's a pretty little guy too. All right, let's let you go, buddy. 
Whew, that's freaky go, dude. On the new rod. I mean, that's the first fish I ever got on this new rod, too. <laughs> this little dude destroyed it, man. All right, I think I will be throwing this a little bit more later. I'm gonna put him down real quick. <sighs> that was awesome, man. All right, I'm gonna bring out this little frog right now and put him on. The bleeding frog snag proof. World's top tournament frog. This guy's actually pretty expensive, too. I think it's like 10 bucks. Maybe more than that. I don't even know. I said it in the mystery tackle box. So yeah, I, I've just been like throwing it on the top like that, and they just like that. You see that? You saw that, right? Dude came up and smacked that. I should be good, thanks though. They, oh, do you see that? Holy crap, that's a nice fish. He's in the pads though, that's the one problem. I kept losing all these fish because they've been in the pads like this. Come here, buddy. There we go. Yeah, that's a decent one right there. <laughs> On the little topwater frog. Yeah, that's probably like the same, uh, same length as the other one I caught. It's crazy because they just come up and smack it like that. <laughs> There he goes. All right, y'all, I just talked to my uncle for a little bit. He's actually the one that owns this pond. It's actually pretty cool. He like does the maintenance and takes care of it and everything. We're gonna go over this way. Hopefully there's no snakes over here. I remember when I was a kid, there used to be freaking snakes everywhere. All right. Right along the shoreline, man. I really have a good feeling right here. I just got, I didn't even know, dude. That's a decent fish right there. Come here, buddy. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it was just a bass. All right, it came up. Dang, dude, that was like, oh my gosh, that guy was long and skinny. I thought it was a pickerel for a second. The way he hit that thing, it was like the slightest. I didn't even know anything had it. Dude, that is crazy. I literally just called it. That was my first throw over at like this side of the pond. But I don't know, dude. It's cool to come back here too to this pond because as I said, I mean, it's been how long since I've fished here as a kid. Now, one of my recent videos, you guys did see me stopping by here. I could not fish it the way I wanted to, though. That was in a challenge video. I had certain lures that I had to use. This is what I wanted to do. Come out to a childhood pond that I used to fish so freaking long ago. Fishing with lures that I want to fish with. I mean, I'm not limiting myself to MTB lures. I just prefer MTB lures over anything else I have at the moment. Yeah, man, what a fun night. It's kind of sad, actually, that I came here and I realized this pond is so good at the end of summer. I mean, if it was up to me, I would have been fishing this like all summer. But now that we know it's here, I mean, we still have the fall to fish, maybe even in winter. I don't know, dude, maybe we could do some ice fishing out here. Probably not. I don't know how safe that would be. So quick update, I actually dug down deeper into the mystery tackle box and I'm about to use this little thing right here. The top water bite slowed down. Now I don't have too much uh, space actually to work with that's not, you know, like covered in pads. But this is what we got going on right here, guys. This is called a rear loader swing jig. 3 8 ounce, there's a four out hook and I'm putting these little rage tails on it. The cool thing actually about this lure is that it is like a swinging head of the jig. Meaning it's gonna give some interesting action. It's gonna be interesting to see if anything actually wants it. Now, if we're gonna be completely honest here, this is not really something I would normally throw or use in a pond, especially in a pond like this. But yeah, man, it's always good to expand your horizons. I feel like, I don't know, man, I have a good feeling about this little thing. I definitely appreciate the weedless capability of this lure. Okay, on the drop. There's a fish on there. Come here, buddy, that's a decent fish. Oh, let's go. Whew. All right, guys. Oh my God, it's third bait today. Literally on the drop, this guy freaking demolished it, dude. I mean, again, guys, not the biggest fish in the world. This guy has some interesting uh, little upper fins right there. But yeah, man, on the little, what? I don't even know what the heck that thing's called. I'm gonna throw that thing a little bit more, man. He hit it right on the fall. He freaking smacked it, man. The interesting thing about these fish, I mean, they're not the biggest fish in the world, as you guys can see, but I mean, they hit and fight so hard in this little pond. All right, buddy, let's let you go here. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it here for this video today. As you guys can see, this video was kind of more laid back. I mean, we kind of just went to a pond, an old pond that we used to fish when we were younger. We just did a little bit of fishing. And yeah, it was just a really chill day. So let me know, I mean, do you guys like that? I mean, I really do try to keep my content as different as possible, but it really is just nice sometimes to just go to a pond and just catch some fish, you know? So as I'm filming this outro, right now I am in the Poconos, once again, with no Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere right now uh, probably this coffee shop i usually go to they don't have the best wi-fi but i mean it's good enough to upload but yeah guys it is labor day weekend i've been enjoying myself and one or two days ago i know i do this all the time but i just have to thank you guys so much man 200 thousand subscribers strong on this youtube channel i don't know how to explain it this all started out of nothing i did not expect for any of this to happen but once it started rolling a little bit i literally put everything i had into this channel right here and the fact that you guys keep coming you guys keep giving the thumbs up you guys keep supporting man it just it literally just means the world so i will say it one more time even though i cannot thank you guys enough man thank you so much for all the support this is still just the beginning though big things are coming just wait on it man just stay tuned for that but yeah guys it's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today now if you guys do like my videos and if you are not already make sure to go down 
down there, hit that subscribe button. And if you never ever want to miss an upload from me, hit that notification bell. All of my links are down in the description, Instagram, t-shirts, all that stuff, man. 200K, man, that's just, uh, we're killing it, man. Seriously, I mean, I cannot have done any of this without you guys. If y'all do want to pick your first MTB up, I mean, that code, it's pretty much free. That duck lore was pretty cool, but yeah, man, that's pretty much, I mean, that's going to do it here for this video today. Again, just thank you so much for all these support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.